Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at one of my new favorite pieces of gear, the Slumberjack Roadhouse Tarp. With a price around the $120 mark, it's the most cost-effective and versatile vehicle awning system you can buy right now. In the past year, we've really stepped up our dispersed camping slash overlanding game. We've upgraded the roof rack and added a rooftop tent, electronics, and sorted out the storage space. However, one thing we hadn't yet improved on was our shade game. When we first started camping, we looked at some of the more traditional rack-mounted options but weren't really sold. First, there were the simple straight-out variety. For us, they would only really work mounted off of one side of our roof rack or the other, which would mean there would be no coverage over our galley area. Also, their stored location meant that they could easily get in the way when trying to deploy our rooftop tent, and they were limited on how much coverage they actually provided. The second vehicle mounted option were the wraparound type, more colloquially known as boxwing or batwing awnings. These are the Instagram darlings of the awning world and what every internet overlanding sensation seems to have hanging off of their roof rack. While they look extremely cool and offer rather large amounts of shade, they suffer from one huge Achilles heel, the price. From what I understand, these things are a total get what you pay for item, so if you want to have the one that will be durable and withstand years of use and high winds, you're going to be shelling out an obscene amount of money. For us, the Slumberjack Roadhouse tarp seems to bridge a lot of those gaps, providing a very versatile shelter system for much less than the other awnings out there. That versatility is key. Slumberjack advertised three basic setups one or two pole variations attached to a vehicle, and a two pole standalone A-frame setup. But the possibilities don't end there. You can substitute some trees for the car and set it up anywhere. I lived under it for a week like this and never even put the rain fly on my tent, even when it was raining. Beyond that versatility, the build quality of the tarp more than exceeds what I expected at this price point. After a couple of months of use, my tarp doesn't show much in the way of wear and the tarp features plenty of reinforcement in high stress and contact areas. It's also backed by Slumberjack's lifetime warranty, meaning you can buy with confidence. While this product might sound a little too good to be true, it does have some limitations that you should be aware of before you buy it. First, the initial time you set this up will take a minute and might lead to some frustration. There is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to setting this thing up. Every vehicle and situation is different, and you may have to improvise a bit figuring out what your attachment point is going to be. This segues to my second point, which is set this thing up at home at least once before you take it to the field. This will save you some frustration and possible embarrassment, and will allow you to take your time to familiarize yourself with the tarp and handle some of that initial setup build out, like attaching the guy lines. Also, it's very advantageous to have some help when you are setting this thing up. As you can see, I have been able to do it by myself in the wind, but it's definitely easier if you have a second set of hands to steady the vertical poles while you're staking it out. But, if you can get through those initial challenges, I think you're going to find that the Slumberjack Roadhouse Tarp can be a game changer, allowing you to have an adequate and durable vehicle mounted awning for a price that you can more than live with. If you're interested in giving a Slumberjack Roadhouse Tarp a try, check out the link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so I will receive a modest commission on your purchase, so your purchase will support this channel. Not interested but still want to support the channel? Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Liking helps these videos get noticed, and by subscribing, you'll guarantee you're never going to miss any of the new content we generate. As always, I'm Matt Kester. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Frugal Explorer Dad. Until next time, be good.